Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make use of the photo layout templates that you can download from projectwoman.com and how you can do this in PaintShop Pro. Before we get started, let's have a look and see what it is that we're talking about. Here is the website page and the templates that I've created that you can download. And these are suitable for a number of applications, including PaintShop Pro. And we're going to have a look at PaintShop Pro X5 right now. I've gone ahead and downloaded them. So let's go to PaintShop Pro X5 and start working with them there. Here we are now in PaintShop Pro. I've gone ahead and downloaded the templates. I've unzipped them and I've opened one of the templates. This is the skinny triptych. There were nine templates in that pack and this is one of them. And this is what it'll look like when it opens. Now I suggest that you open the layer palette and you do that by choosing View and then Palettes and then make sure that Layers is selected. And you can also press F8 to get it visible because the Layers palette is going to be where you're going to be working for these particular templates. Now, the top layer is this instruction layer and it tells you to hide the layer so it won't print. And that there are three layers below which include instructions for using the template with Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, PaintShop Pro and GIMP. Display or hide them to view the instructions as required. So I'm going to hide this particular layer and here is the PaintShop Pro layer. And I could just click on this and then hide everything else to be able to see these instructions. Now I'm going to step you through this so you don't need those instructions right now. But it's fairly simple to use these templates. So let's go back to viewing these three template layers. And the instructions are going to say first of all to click on layer A in the image. So we'll go down here and this is layer A and that's what we want to select to begin with. And then we want to open the first of the images that we want to place in this template. And I have this image here. And you're to drag the background layer of this image onto this one here. I'm just going to do that and let go. And I'm going to go and get the pick tool and just move this image over here because this is where I want it to be. And now I can resize it. I'm going to start dragging on it and then add the shift key to resize it so that it covers the entire area that is black on the template because it's going to be cropped to that area in the next step. So now that I've got it sized down or sized up to where I want it to be and positioned pretty much as I want it to appear, I'm ready to mask it. And now to mask it, what I'm going to do is to choose Layers and I'm going to choose Load Save Mask and then choose Load Mask from Alpha Channel because all of these template documents have an Alpha Channel already in them. So I'm going to click this and what I need to do now is to go and find Layer A because it's A that we're working with. So this is the mask for Layer A. I need to set it to fit to canvas and I need a show all mask. These are the default settings so once you've set them they'll be stuck there anyway and that's exactly what you'll want. And I'll click load to load it. And now this image is clipped to the size of that mask underneath and we're ready to go on to layer B. So I'm going to target layer B so that it's selected. I'm going to go and find my next image, which I think is going to be this one. And now I'm going to drag and drop it into my main image. And now with the pick tool selected, I'm going to resize mine upwards. Now you may need to resize yours down if yours is larger or up. It, you'll know what you need for the project that you're working on. I'm going to position this having regard to the layers behind so I know pretty much what's going to appear there. And now with this layer still selected, I'm going to go ahead and choose Layers, Load Save Mask, Load Mask from Alpha Channel. And this time because I'm working on Layer B, I want to click Layer B. These settings are still as they were before so I'll just click Load. And now the image is cropped. 
and we'll finish up with layer C, target layer C, and then go and get the image that I'm going to put on layer C, which is this one here, drag and drop it onto the main image, target the pick tool and move it into position. And then I'm going to resize it and adjust its placement so it's exactly where I want it to be. And when I've got it right, layers, load, save, mask, load mask from alpha channel. This time I'm working on layer C, so I want to select the mask for layer C and click load. And this is now masked to the appropriate size. Once you've done that, all you need to do is think about what you might want for a background. If you want the background to be recolored, you can do that. And to do this, I'm just going to show the materials palette, which seems to have disappeared on me. So here's my materials palette here. And I'm going to select black as my foreground color. So let's just go and target a very dark color. It's nearly black, it'll do for now. I have my layer selected, so I'm going to go to the Flood Fill tool and just flood this background layer with black. And now that's my completed image. And you can add other elements to the page, but when you're ready, you can just go ahead and save it or print it. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials on PaintShop Pro on this YouTube channel and visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials as well as downloads that you can use with PaintShop Pro.